I will admit that it took me a while to actually say truthfully, I love to. But when I did, I found a completely unique new way to live. To love to, instead of hate to. Shof even taught me to pay my bills with enthusiasm. He said, the next time you pay $100 on an account, put a note inside with your check that says, with great excitement I send you this $100. He said, you won't believe what happens on the other end. They don't get many notes like that. But best of all, you won't believe what happens on your end. The new feeling of being in control and having a philosophy of life that brings joy instead of frustration. This whole new attitude will create for you a whole new world. Remember, it's something anyone can do. Mr. Shove got me to open my first savings account. He said, do you have a savings account? I said, I don't have enough money. And he reminded me, it's not the amount that counts, it's the plan. The important thing is to begin. Wealth is a plan, not an amount. He asked me if I had $10. I said, well, yes. He said, then open up your savings account and do it with your new attitude and enthusiasm. Well, that took some doing. I went to the bank in the town where I lived and walked in to open my account. I went to the window and told the lady I wanted to open up a savings account. She said, great. What is your name? I said, Mr. Roan. She said, fine, Mr. Roan, just fill out these papers. I filled them out, handed them back to her, and she said, that's all in order. Now, how are we going to get this account started? I said, put 10 in. She said, 10 what? I said, $10. Now, can you imagine the scene? I'm a grown man, 25 years old. I have a family. I'm working and opening up my first savings account with $10. I said, hey, this may not seem like much, but I have a great plan. In fact, before long, I'll probably have the largest savings account in this bank. She said, well, if you say so. It was a bit embarrassing, I must admit, but Shof said, get excited about where you're going and excited about the fact that you are one of the few who have a wealth plan in place and working. To make a long story short, guess what? Within less than three years, I did have the largest savings account in that bank. Now, it was just a small country bank, but I did reach my goal. What magic! And how quickly it works once you develop a new plan and a new attitude and commit to the discipline to do it. Wealth plans, anyone can have them. Wealth goals, anyone can design them. Wealth habits and disciplines, anyone can develop them. Why not start today? This can be a new day that opens up a new future and creates a new excitement about life and its possibilities for you. I talk to a lot of people who are about to have a breakthrough. They're about to have a breakthrough, but they have convinced themselves of one thing, that what they're going through, no one's ever gone through before that their wall is bigger than everybody else's wall. Everything around you is incredible if you're willing to look at it that way. Everything around you can be taken for granted if that's your perspective. But it really is about the frame that you choose to put around things. I mean, simply being alive is already insane. The odds are so stacked against you, not only just being a human, but being a human at this moment in time, this moment in time where breakthroughs in technology are happening at, at an unprecedented rate, where breakthroughs in medical science are happening at an unprecedented rate, where our ability to connect with people, to empathize with people all the way around the globe, all of the changes that have happened in technology and telecom and connectivity, health, everything, we're living in the most miraculous time ever but you have to look at it that way. And as Joseph Campbell said, life is a wonderful, wonderful opera, except that it hurts. But how do, I, how, how do you get there? The tools are there to have a public identity and to go on the record, proudly so, and stand for who you really are. Gary Player, the great golfer, he was a little guy, very little, but he worked really hard. And he had a great statement, but he'd go, the harder I work, the luckier I get. So the question is, do you see it as the beautiful opera? 
or do you just pay attention to the pain? And at the end of the day, you're going to get what you focus on. They're both true. This is both the most amazing time that's ever happened ever in recorded history. And yet real things that are terrifying are also happening. But where you put your energy, where you put your attention, where you put your focus is going to determine what you see. And that is the most fascinating and the most important thing you have to understand about the way that your mind works. You get what you focus on. If you focus on the things that are bad, they will become real. They will become exaggerated. They will begin to monopolize your thoughts. You'll see them everywhere. It's called the reticular activating system. Your mind is literally designed to pay attention to the things that you notice. Once you notice a certain car, you see it everywhere. Once you notice a certain dog, you see it everywhere. Once you hear a certain name for the first time, suddenly you realize that that name has been all around you this entire time. But now that you're focusing on it, now that you're looking for it, it is everywhere. So whatever you look for, it's going to be everywhere. If you look for the negative, it'll be there. But if you look for the positive, it will overwhelm you. No matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, you can take the lid off of your job. And, and if, if, if you're wondering if you still have the lid on in your life, here are some clues that's going to let you know that the lid is still on. I thought it was over for me. And then the next meeting, some new engineers who didn't report to me and Larry Page himself showed up with ideas on what to do to solve this problem. And I was like, oh my God, I just became more powerful. If you're not excited about waking up in the morning, if you're sitting around bored out of your mind, if you got time to do everything anybody asks you to do, you probably got the lid on. <laughs> if when you tell your dreams to all your friends, it makes sense to them, you got your lid on, man. Your dreams should be, should not make sense to everybody. You got to say something that make people go, how are you going to do that? That's when you got the lid off. And if I were you, I'd do that. I'd take the lid off. Makes sense to me, don't it?